In California, when it rains, it's usually just enough to turn that thin layer of dust that's on your car into a thin layer of mud. Hello, Internet! This is Vords. I felt like throwing a little something onto the channel while I'm in the midst of editing my Voli Vodka review, and then, uh, of course, after that, I'm going to be sorting through all the pictures and video from my Japan trip. But, you know, we're coming up on two years of me producing video content for YouTube, and I want to discuss a little bit about why I do this? I mean, I'm not young, not particularly good looking, and even though I'm goofy, I'm nowhere near the most entertaining person in the world. Now part of it is because I can't not. To explain, set the Wayback Machine to 1977, when your humble narrator was at the knee-biting age of seven. Now, I had seen plenty of science fiction on television. Star Trek, Doctor Who, Space 1999, Lost in Space. But seeing Star Wars on the big screen, it changed me in ways that, well, that affect me to this day. Not only did I meet the very first love of my life, but a spark of creativity lit up in me. You know, I still have memories of those times when I was seven or eight, typing away stories while lying down in a sleeping bag on the floor of my bedroom. Of course, back then, the stories were all extremely simple and had nothing but dialogue and sound effects in them. When I was in sixth grade, I met a guy who, like me, was nerdy, geeky, creative, had almost no other friends. We channeled our interest in storytelling into making audio plays on cassette tape. And admittedly, since they were written by a couple of 12, 13-year-old nerds, they were ridiculously bad, but it was a lot of fun to do. But that didn't happen much in high school. We developed a group of friends who were into RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons, Traveler, The Moral Project, Call of Cthulhu. That was pretty much all we did with our spare time. Well, with the exception of discussing the latest Star Trek Next Generation episode, uh, there was that year I did Academic Decathlon, and of course, Oingo Boingo concert every Halloween season. When I was in college, my desire to tell stories led me to write, like, all the time. I wrote original stories and even some fan fiction. Self-published some of it. Some of it is still okay to read, though amateurish. The majority of it, though, is, eh, let's just say best used as kindling. And after college, I was busy trying to make a living. And about that time, I got back into video games for the first time since the arcade games of my youth. So video games and Japanese animation took up most of my waking hours. So my first couple of videos on this channel aren't even really videos. They're audio mixes I made. Now this might stem from doing a lot of audio video projects in high school, but in my heart of hearts, I am a sound engineer. I love mixing similar and disparate sounds, making new sounds, you know, like Foley artist, putting it all together into a tapestry that can be listened to by itself, or something that is background music or sound effects for something else. But the point is, a little while after publishing those first two audio mixes, I did, on a whim, decided I would film a cocktail recipe that many of my friends and family had been asking me, hey Vords, how do you make that thing? And yeah, I could have just written down and distributed it, but you know what? That something inside me, it was longing to burst out again. And after I shot that first video, the creative and somewhat exhibitionistic, part of me really started to churn again. Strangely enough, it took me months to publish that video. I mean, I put out like about 12 or so videos before that, just oddly enough, the first one I made specifically for publishing to YouTube, but it, it wound up being like the 11th or 12th that I actually put out there. So here I am almost two years later, still making videos, having a great time doing it, occasionally publishing the results to my YouTube channel. And, you know, why do I bother? I'm an extremely small fish in a gigantic ocean. Big reason is that, like I mentioned before, I can't not. Ideas, both good and bad, are bursting from me, and I want to attempt to do them. Especially since my son has really become interested in helping me with my videos, and he's even made a few of his own with his uh, 3DS. But there's another reason. It's a fun, healthy, constructive, coping mechanism. Now some of you know just how broken I am as a person right now. There's too much to list and a lot of it is really personal. But imagine 
if you felt all sides around you pressing in, not constantly, but quite often, and yet at the same time, so many external forces are pulling you in so many directions, tugging, nibbling, taking, taking, taking. But anyway, YouTube feels good to do. I appreciate all of you who visit me and decide to make this weird older guy a small part of your life. You have ourselves a great day. Board's out. Let's see how this goes. Oh.